Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. Corbin slammed over silence on RAF pilots' bravery. Jeremy Corbin has been attacked for failing to recognize the bravery of the RAF pilots who delivered the attack into Syria at yesterday's Andrew Marr show. The heated interview with BBC presenter Mr. Marr saw the leader of the Labour Party maintaining a yawning silence over the army men who carried out the mission. Journalist Dominic Lawson spoke out against him, calling Mr. Corbyn cynical and accused the Labour leader of despising everything British troops stand for. He wrote in an op-ed, the man who would be Prime Minister in opinion polls have Labour level pegging with the Conservatives regards the those now serving in the British armed forces with, at best, complete indifference. And, as an institution, he despises them. His aversion to war, he added, can't be an excuse for failing to recognize the fact that pilots risked their lives to carry out airstrikes in Syria on the night of April 15. While Sir Vince Cable, leader of the Liberal Democrats, also spoke out against the Prime Minister's decision to launch the attack without a prior vote in Parliament, he insisted on beginning his answer with words for the British pilots who put their lives on the line in the performance of their duty. Mr Lawson believes that the Labour leader, who has also chaired the pacifist group Stop the War Coalition in the past, preferred to remain silent and not to voice his real thoughts towards the army because he needs a broad-based support to enter number 10. Many of the viewers of the BBC political talk show who took to Twitter to comment Mr. Corbyn's words shared Mr. Lawson's views. Social media user Simon Lester wrote, Corbyn has smeared himself today. Just watch his answers to Andrew Marr. His history is far too checkered to ever lead a country, he'll be gone soon. Mr. Lawson wrote, so he will not repeat what he said at a rally in 2010 against public expenditure cuts, fight all the cuts. Except those in the armed forces. Where we want to see a few more cuts taking place. The journalist also called Mr. Corbyn out for saying PM Theresa May should have waited for the UN's approval before delivering the strike despite knowing Russia has vetoed six resolutions against Syria in the council. He wrote, Corbyn is being profoundly cynical, while appearing to be idealistic. Andrew Redman, another Twitter user, wrote, Political solution Corbyn says to Andrew Marr. Russia vetoed the request for independent inspection in Syria. What did they have to hide? God help this country if this man ever gets into power. Speaking at the Andrew Marr show, Mr. Corbyn also called for a war powers law that would ban British leaders from taking military action without a vote from MPs. He said, there has to be a process where the objective is to bring about peace, to bring about resolution, to bring about a political solution. His remarks on the BBC show set off a furious reaction from Tory MPs. Brandon Lewis tweeted, Shocking failure by Corbyn on Mar to condemn Syrian regime, or Russia, or to recognize what has actually been happening. He knows full well Russia has a veto at UN. Another Tory MP, Nick Bowles, said, Truly Jeremy Corbyn is now Putin's useful idiot. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.